This particular model is a, an unbelievable cashmere and cotton 50-50 blend. This is so luxurious. Incredibly, wow. incredibly luxurious. Um, I'll give you your slack jacket back. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Kirby Allison. And in today's video, I'm very excited to welcome Jonathan Sigmund of Allen Flesser into our offices, where he is going to share with us three new casual models that he and Allen have developed. Hey, Jonathan, thank you so much for coming to Dallas. And, nice to be um, here. You know, it's great to see you again. Thank you very much. I'm excited about it. So we were talking earlier about how a lot of these more casual pieces that, you know, really previously were probably constrained to just the bespoke or custom end of the offer, you're now offering a little bit more made to measure. But then also the last kind of several months, you know, people have been kind of discovering or rediscovering the virtues of having some of these casual pieces like this slack jacket. So I know you brought a few things. Can you kind of talk us through some of the new models you're excited about and kind of model expansion? Yeah, without a doubt. So we'll take a look at a couple. This is just a simple top coat. Um, not that exciting, but since I wore it today, I wanted to show it to you. Yeah, thank you. Um, what I love about this is that it's an incredible 15 ounce cashmere. Wow. Very, um, very soft, just the right weight for either the shoulder seasons in the Northeast, mm -hmm. um, maybe a little, a little light for the dead of winter here in Dallas, but places like Houston, more on the West, I'm in the Southwest, uh, it's a wearable coat year round. Or for people like me in the Northeast, it's great from October, November, early December, and then again come yeah. March and April. Yeah. Uh, so a pretty simple model, just a classic Mac. Um, yeah. We make it obviously completely unstructured as most mm -hmm. sport coats or as most uh, top coats. There's nothing in the shoulder. It's quite full, which um, is something that we wanted to focus on. You know, the sleeves are full. Um, it's a little bit, um, obviously it's not made for you. We might make it a, a, a touch bigger for you. Um, but it's a, it's just a wonderful piece. Well, this, simple, this fits clean. beautifully. It, it fits pretty well, you know. Uh, simple, clean, with cashmere. This particular cashmere, it's at a really amazing price point, under $2,000. Um, so that's something we're, we're pretty excited about. Yeah. We make a lot of like real classic overcoats mm -hmm. with a lot of weight to them. 18, 20 ounce double breasted coats with a uh, velvet collar, you know, yeah. very dressy mm -hmm. things. So this is just one of those pieces that's a little bit more casual, still long enough, you know, it goes below the knee. Most top coats that you can get off the rack are a little bit shorter. They'll be mm -hmm. above the knee or mid thigh. Very rarely are we interested in wearing something like that unless it's like a pea coat. Yeah, and I think I've seen photographs of you wearing this again with denim. Right. Yeah, so, I mean, that's a versatile piece. Incredibly that, versatile piece. It works it's, with what I have on right now. You could even wear it with, you know, it's something that's got brown in it. Yeah, that's the benefit of, um, you know, a camel type of color. It's just like a polo coat. Alan and I believe that you can wear a polo coat with just about anything from jeans and a sweater to formal wear. Some sticklers uh, or very strict people might, might disagree that it is an appropriate look for formal wear, but uh, we disagree and um, while this can't be, quite, can't be pushed quite that dressy, uh, you can still wear it with a suit very easily um, and you can still wear it, you know, dressing down. It's just a great color and it's simple and clean enough that it can be dressed up when you need yeah. to. Beautiful. Great buttons. And yeah. So that's, that's just our... Interesting lining. Yeah. Love the lining. Just <laughs> this kind of rose, you know, um, rose lining just to give it a little bit of visual interest. Yeah. And we'll this is made to measure? This particular one is made to measure, yes. That's just cute. like all these here, it developed out of clothes that we make in the shop. Um, you know, it's, there's a lot of people who can't or don't want to spend $3,500 on a simple top coat that's for the shoulder seasons, you know? Yeah. Um, and again, uh, it's all relative, but for certain people getting it under $2,000 is, it, yeah, you know, brings a whole new offering. Absolutely. Okay. So not much different here. This is just the classic slack jacket. This one obviously isn't made for you, so it won't fit quite as well, but, um, just so people can see it. Uh, this is, you know, our, our standard, it's exactly the same cloth as the one that you have. It's our charcoal. It's a, uh, you know, red on the reverse. So we made this one very simple, not, you know, no flashy lining or anything like that. Only half lined in the back to take advantage of the stretch of the knit. Um, but as you can see, it's made, um, at least the pattern, exactly the same, you know, exactly the same pocket, um, hand stitching on the pocket, on the lapel, under the collar, in the armhole as all of our made to measure products are. So exact same idea as what you already know and as what we shot in the video, just now uh, available for the folks who want yeah. to do it in made to measure. And I love this gray. This gray is a great compliment to the navy. Yeah, it, it really it, have both. Very wearable piece. You know, we like to start people in a navy or a green or something like that that's a little easier to wear, especially with gray pants. Mm -hmm. Most guys, if they're dressing something up, are gonna wear gray pants. And it's a little bit hard 
to do gray and charcoal unless you just specifically like monochrome type things. But if you already have the navy, if you already have a green or a beige or something like that, um, or if you don't plan on wearing it you know, with dressy gray pants, if you wear it with khakis or jeans or things like that, it's a great color. Um, we like to wear it. I know you wear yours turned down a lot, but especially if you don't have a tie or if you have a sweater or something underneath, popping the collar up a little bit like that. It's a very flexible collar, so it'll kind of fall down with wear. Um, this is a very kind of dégagé w- way of, of doing it. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. So this next one is our field jacket, which we were, have been working on for quite a while. Um, you know, we've been, uh, had quite a bit of design time uh, and fiddling around time over the last several months. So uh, this obviously, like everything else, starts out in bespoke. And uh, Alan has made himself... Uh, a few of these with varying varying design differences. This is our just classic field jacket. Mm-hmm. So what we really like about this one is that um, the architecture of the pockets, we think captures some of the great elements of a regular sport coat. So these, um, you know, the pockets down here, they're slanted, they're angled down, so you get that kind of skirt flare visual impression on a sport coat. These pockets here angle upward towards the shoulders. Um, it doesn't always have this, uh, this front, sometimes it has a, a Stan collar or a Nehru collar. And in that instance, when these pockets kind of angle up towards the shoulders, you get a visual effect similar to having like a proper lapel on a sport coat. So we like that it angles up at the front, angles down at the hips, you know, gives these kind of visual cues that, um, that capture the, uh, the design elements of a sport coat that have made it what it is for the last, or a suit coat that have made it what it is for the last couple hundred years, yeah. Yeah. hundred years. And very large kind of versatile pockets. Yeah, incredibly versatile pockets. So the bottom are, um, you know, bellows pockets. So f- totally for utility, they expand, uh, hold a lot of stuff. Um, pockets up here, we don't want quite as much bulk. So it's a simple patch pocket without the bellows function. Mm-hmm. Um, the collar is on this one. We made it similar to our slack jacket. So just a simple kind of shirt collar. Um, Alan has been making his with um, a Nehru collar. And if you look on our Instagram, I'm sure a lot of the people watching this video already follow us there. They've probably seen Alan's. Um, he's made a Black Searsucker one and I think a Tartan one. And it has a classic Nehru collar on it. So it's a little more uh, perhaps sleek. Um, it's a little bit different. We make it sometimes with the classic stand collar, which just comes up right here, like a classic field jacket, a military mm-hmm. field jacket that you would see. Um, so it really just depends on what direction you want to push it. And all those little options, I mean, can be you know, even selected in the made to measure program. Right. Yeah. And that's what's so great about, um, you know, our version of made to measure. It's not, you know, a made to order type of product. Um, If you're bigger, these pockets are going to be a little bit bigger. If you're very slight, these pockets are going to be a little bit smaller. You know, whatever type of a collar within, you know, the ones that we've developed into Mm it um, can be used on it. Um, Whatever type of lining, obviously. Um, But it's a, a very adaptable type of garment. Yeah. And another great garment for just, you know, lounging around the house or just walking for out sure. about. I yeah. mean, this beautiful houndstooth and the brown and um, tan is, um, you know, what a great weekend fabric. Yeah, we've got a couple guys who are making them specifically for safaris because it's obviously a very functional garment for that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we have guys who just want something interesting, you know, to wear around the house or to wear out and about. Uh, again, it all comes back to this idea of interesting alternative jackets that make you look more presentable, give you some pockets, you know, give things to put your stuff in, to put your hands in. To some extent, as we get into cooler weather, that adds a layer of warmth, but is a little bit more casual and isn't just the classic sport coat. Yeah. Uh, what about other fabrics? I mean, would you do this in any other fabrics? Definitely, yeah. So, like I said, Alan did his summer one in a black seersucker, and we had Laura Piano weave us a solid black. Um, so that one's exclusive to us. We've done a lot of classic uh, sport jackets and blazers in it, and that's what he did his field jacket in for the really? summer. Really? Okay. Um, we've done tartan linens that are pretty interesting. Uh, a fellow down in Florida is doing a uh, wool and very slubby silk option. Mm-hmm. So um, the fellow who's making it for a safari jacket is going to do something in this kind of ha- classic houndstooth pattern. Probably a little bit lighter weight than this. This is a 10 ounce a little bit more for um, cooler weather wear. You don't really want to wear this in a safari in the yeah. summer. Um, but basically that idea in um, maybe a seven ounce wool silk and linen type of thing. Yeah, beautiful. Well, what's the turnaround on a garment like this? And made to, made to All measure? All of our mates measure is pretty similar. Um, about four and a half weeks from order and then it just depends on 
uh, the fitting situation. Yeah. Obviously, some people are trying to do virtual fittings, mm -hmm. which we are uh, amenable to. Uh, it's not ideal, but we understand, given the circumstances, you know, it's a way to get people clothes that fit mm -hmm. well. Uh, with the understanding that um, you know we're, we're very particular about how we finish our clothes, so we want to see it on them Ultimately. eventually. <laughs> eventually, yeah. <laughs> so we, we're excited. We're glad to make the clothes. Uh, we're glad to do this virtual fitting process, mm -hmm. but we. Uh, expect at some point they'll be able to come to New York or if they're in a major market, we'll see them as we're traveling more uh, and we'll be able to do the final nips and tucks to the way that is everybody's satisfaction. Another great piece. I mean, I could walk out with this right now. Yeah, you're, very, you're, like you're perfect, quite well dressed you know? for it. Um, you know, the same, same design sensibility as all the rest. It needs to be able to uh, wear with jeans and if it can wear with a tie like, especially a tie like this, that's a little bit more casual, mm -hmm. um, all the better. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay, this is our um, maybe architect's jacket. We don't really have a name for it, but it's a adaptation of the classic Arnie's for SDA. Some of your clients are probably already familiar with this piece. Arnie's was a iconic French store, uh, and this was one of their, or a version of this was uh, one of their famous jackets. We are obviously not going to use their terminology, but we took some key elements of their jacket. Uh, and, and brought it into our version. So the most identifiable thing is the collar, for sure. Um, it's a straight front, very similar to our slack jacket, um, half-lined. This particular model is a, an unbelievable cashmere and cotton 50-50 blend. This is so luxurious. Incredibly, wow. <laughs> incredibly luxurious. Unfortunately, this fabric just sold out, so it's, it's a bit of a, or this colorway just okay. sold out, so it's a bit of a bummer, but it is available in navy, and we've made a couple, even classic double-breasted navy blazers. Does it have the same visual it's, texture? It, it has navy. quite a lot of texture, yeah. Um, so the, it, it's just an amazing fabric, you know. A cashmere and cotton blend, so it's, it's, amazing. It's, it's casual because it has all this texture and it has this cotton element to it, and it's obviously a knit, um, but at the same time, um, it's just so luxurious, you know. It's... Uh, it's all you want to put on once you have something like this. Uh, You'd be so, hard pressed to choose which of these three, you know, I would travel in. Yeah, I, I mean, it's like they're all perfect. I think, um, especially with this one and the field jacket, it's such a different uh, design sensibility that uh, certain people will probably be significantly more attracted to one than the other. This is very clean. You know, there's not a lot to it. It's a very simple type of design, but one that we think is. Uh, you know, uh, has a lot of style and is very yeah. long-lasting. So simple three open patch pockets, um, four or five button front, depending on, uh, depending on the client. You can tell that this button stance is just a little bit higher set, uh, which is, uh, again, in that Arnie's for SDA mold. Mm -hmm. uh, we want it to be very easy. Um, it's, it's probably about right on you. It's a little bit long, um, but even though it might feel a touch big, maybe we'd bring it in a little bit. It yeah. just depends on the person. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it is intended to be you know, a very loose, kind of easy garment. Um, this one would be, we'd probably wear more without a tie. Um, it can be worn with a tie, but it can kind of get a little stuffy with this particular collar. Yeah. Um, it, it certainly works. Yeah. But what would you put under it? Just a, like a Friday polo or a knit? Yeah, polo, knit, turtleneck, um, interesting sport shirt, really any other kind of casual jacket. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a great piece. Uh, very simple, very easy to wear. And this fabric is exceptional. Yeah, that's, that's I mean, my <laughs> particular piece, and uh, it's what I traveled in here. And w once you have it on, you just really can't stop yeah. but just <laughs> be feeling yourself. You just, um, it just kind of disappears onto your shoulders. It's the adult man security blanket in a yeah. sense, you know. Uh, you know, you feel better when you're wearing something that uh, looks good, that makes you look good, but that also kind of covers yeah. instead of you're just walking around in shirt yeah. sleeves. I mean, it does everything that a, a, a sports coat or any jacket does, and that is, you know, it helps kind of mold the silhouette uh, into something intentional. Yeah, yeah, that's well put. Yeah. So we're excited about all of these. Um, I'll give you your slack jacket back. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're excited about all of these. You know, there's, uh, as we've talked about uh, at, at length already today, um, so what does that run with that fabric, the cashmere uh, cotton? Uh, so that, that's a good point. I'm glad you brought that up. Um, part of the thing that we'll be doing, or that we're already doing um, now, is expanding our made-to-measure into um, all of the fabrics that we have. So it's been a little bit selective in that 
Um, we had to keep it under a certain price point of fabric in order to you know, be able to afford to make it for under mm -hmm. a couple thousand dollars. Um, this is a pretty expensive fabric, so it would probably have to run around 2300 or so, mm -hmm. um, which if people have been following us for a while or are already made-to-measure clients, uh, it's certainly more expensive than a classic made-to-measure jacket. So our prices are not increasing, it's just that we are offering more fabrics in this make, mm -hmm. um, and the more expensive fabrics, the more luxurious fabrics like this, yeah, this are obviously a little bit more expensive. Um, these other ones that we looked at, you know, your navy slack jacket and just a classic wool and cotton knit, um, those are pretty standard, 17, 1800. Yeah, the field jacket also. Field jacket also, yeah. So we, we love all these casual pieces. You know, we've seen that there's clearly a market for it. We like it ourselves. Our clients are, you know, re responding to this type of piece. Um, but we also are very optimistic about the return of, um, you know, a little bit more classic uh, tailored clothing like this, or maybe maybe a level beneath this without the double-breasted waistcoat. Okay, but formal um, wear. Yeah. Sorry? Formal wear. I mean, uh, you know, like well, business yeah. formal. Business yeah. formal, yeah. right. Um, speaking of the double-breasted waistcoat, this is just an aside, but this is something we're pretty excited about. Um, we've, we've made it for you know, quite a long time, but we've never made it made-to-measure, um, and we, ever, we, were, we were able recently to develop in our made-to-measure program as well. Beautiful. And it's one thing for people who haven't experienced good clothes. It, you may not see that level of interest if you don't know what a great suit or a great jacket feels like and looks like. You, may, you might not have that, but for our type of clientele and the people that you work with yourselves and that you sell your accessories to, those people by and large know what great clothes are. They've experienced it themselves and they have it in their closets. So uh, we're pretty optimistic that come you know, March, April, as the vaccine takes, uh, takes hold a little bit more, as more people get it, um, as we shift into what we hope is, is a, you know, some return to normalcy, uh, we feel pretty confident that people are going to be excited about wearing yeah. clothes again. Well, so we are looking that, forward to it, for yeah, sure. Yeah, without a doubt. And we think this, this type of clothing that you're wearing and that I showed you will continue for sure. People aren't going to want to just always wear suits again. They're going to, I think, this adapting to a more comfortable but put-together look is yeah. going to continue indefinitely. But we do expect that suits, classic blazers, classic trousers will... Uh, we'll have a pretty strong rebound. <laughs> hey, well, Jonathan, thank you so much uh, for making it to Dallas, and uh, it's exciting to hear about everything that's going on and to see these new models. Thanks very much. Yeah, thank you.